We begin with Russia's continued and unrelenting attack on Ukraine. Although the war is thousands of miles away from Utah and Orem, one family is staying in touch with loved ones in Ukraine as Russian troops get closer. ABC4 Northern Utah correspondent Kate Gardner has that story. The eerie sounds of sirens in Kiev, Ukraine. Sounds that hit home here in Utah. For two nights, they've been experiencing uh, some moments of horror and um, despair. Vasil and Elizabeth Osipenko haven't slept much the last two nights as they wait to hear from Vasil's brothers, cousins, and aunt. She was just uh, very emo <coughs> emo emotional. She, <coughs> on one hand, she was uh, peace at peace. She said, I'm, I'm ready to face the death. But in Kiev, Vasil's cousin says there is hope. They're at the middle of the war. At, uh, maybe they won't wake up tomorrow. And she sees their eyes and they're, they're crying half, half of the time, but they're still hopeful and, and cheerful and uh, uplifting each other. Vasil spends much of the day on the phone, talking to loved ones, including a friend we'll call Tanya. Uh, yesterday I woke up the call from my friend and he said, okay, war is here. I'm like, great. <laughs> It was, wow. Tanya is spending the night in her bathroom in Kiev because it's the safest spot in her apartment. She hopes Americans are paying attention. This man is crazy. Like he's out of his mind. He doesn't care about sanctions. You know, all the regular people, civilians will hurt, will be hurt from those sanctions. Something the Osipenkos hope too. This unprecedented war is not a crisis in Ukraine, and it's not a conflict in Ukraine, and, and it's not a war just against Ukraine, and it's freedom-loving, beautiful people, but it's a war against the humanity. And the family has a message for loved ones in Ukraine. Keep smiling, uh, keep your hopes up, things are going to get better. In Orem, Cade Garner, ABC4 News. We do want to let you know there will be a demonstration in support of Ukraine tomorrow at the Utah State Capitol from noon until 3.